Okay. Do I have to do something or are we already we are live already? I can see it. Okay. So hello everybody. Uh, my name is Jorge Vescos. I am working at Oracle as a software engineer, and I have been working in Jakarta Mail 2.1 and uh, Angus Mail. So I'm going to present you uh, some few slides about that, and I will present also a small demo. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so, uh, could you confirm in the chat? That my that you can see my screen right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Uh, so this uh, I'm going to talk about Jakarta Mail 2.1 and Angus Mail 1.0, and we are going to have small theory, small theory, uh, just three points about, I think, something that is relevant, what is Jakarta Mail, what is new in Jakarta Mail 2.1, and what is Angus Mail. And we will have a short demo, and at the end, I will show you some references in case you want, you have questions about Mail or Angus, or you want to discuss something about the demo or whatever you want to ask. Okay, so let's, what is Jakarta Mail? Uh, I think if you have been working in Java and you have sent an email, you have, probably use this library already. I'm going to read uh, this that comes from the specification to be accurate. So the Jakarta Mail API provides a set of abstract classes defining objects that, comprom that comprise a mail system. The API defines classes like message, store, and transport. And the, the API can be extended and can be subclassed to provide new protocols and to add new add functionality when necessary. This is uh, a picture of the workflow or what, uh, uh, how is involved uh, Jakarta Mail with the mail. So we can see we have a message. A message typically is an email with a subject, a body text, recipients, sometimes attachments. You have the transport. Uh, the transport is uh, the way you submit the message. There are different protocols. Uh, then that message eventually arrives to one place that needs to be stored. Uh, so if uh, you send an email from user A to you, from email A to email B, uh, the email B wants to read the message. So th that message is stored. And we can use uh, mail API uh, to, to, well, we can use Jakarta mail to send messages, to send emails and to uh, read the store or mod make modifications. Here in more detail, uh, message defines a set of attributes and a content for email message, for what I said. For example, Xavier recipients, content type, attachment. The transport, it models the transport at the end that routes the, mes the message to its destination addresses. And the store is where, where we are going to, to store the messages and uh, in the store, usually you have folders and folders can contain other folders or messages. And we have the session, which it was not shown in this picture, but it is session is everywhere in, in, in Jakarta mail. So uh, basically uh, it contains uh, co the configuration and it can create instances with that configuration. For example, if you send a message and you use the transport uh, you send it with SMTP protocol, for example. Uh, you need to specify the host and the port where you want to, at least when, where you want to send the message. So that's uh, all the properties are kept in the session. And with the session, you can use it as a factory to create instances of transport, store, and such things. Uh, what's new in Jakarta Mail 2.1? Basically, there are two things. Uh, one is uh, in, in, in Jakarta Mail, we have in the past uh, the implementation and the API mixed together. So if you open the JAR file of uh, Jakarta Mail in previous versions, you will see that you have two kind of packages. This is for the implementation and this is for the API. So in this version, we have 
remove the implementation from the Jakarta mail. And uh, we also added a new interface uh, that has to be implemented. The new interface is the stream provider uh, that it contains, uh, it's kind of factory that provides different encoders and decoders. We have uh, the mail API, Jakarta mail requires some of them. Here you have some examples. So the implementation, different implementations will have to provide implementations of this interface. And the way we do it is, uh, as usually in, in Jakarta projects, we use the service lookup, uh, which I can show you how it is in case you don't, you don't know it. I'm going to show it. For example, the implementation of uh, the default implementation of the stream provider. Uh, it's Angus mail, as uh, I, we will check it later. And we can see that uh, this, inter this class is implemented in this interface and it has different decoders and encoders, okay? And the service lookup, the way it works is uh, you need to have the implementation in place and you need to configure in the meta inf, you need to have a service folder with the, with the name of the interface or class you want to extend or implement. And inside of it, you just need to write the class that is going to, to implement it. So I'm going back to, well, that's not needed. Okay, so yeah, what is Angus Mail? Well, Angus Mail is the default implementation, as I said, we have to move uh, this package out of the Jakarta mail API. So uh, we need to keep this somewhere and we created a, a new project, which is Angus mail that implements the API. So it contains this package and also a new implementation for this interface. Okay, so this, now we can move forward to the demo. Uh, I, this is the link of the demo. Uh, I already have it open. Yes. Okay. So uh, in this demo, we are going to do two things, very simple things. We are going to send one email with SMTP protocol, and we are going to read the email uh, from the inbox uh, with EMAP protocol. Um, it is divided in two parts because we need to have a mail, uh, a server mail. We could use Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook or whatever, but the thing is, uh, if you want to execute this demo, uh, it's going to be tricky because we will need to share users or you will need to create emails in Gmail and such things. So I decide to make my own mail server. Uh, you, so you, you will be able to start it uh, just executing one script. But the thing uh, is that you will need to have Docker. Well, you need Docker to have the mail server. And uh, in order to execute the demo, you will need to have Java 11 or more and Maven. Okay, so let's first, uh, I'm not going to execute it right now. Let's first uh, check the, the demo code. Let's start from the POM file. So the POM file is pretty straightforward. It only has the mail angus dependency. I didn't add more because this uh, this dependency brings what it needs. So if we, for example, check the dependencies. We can see that uh, the demo project has the dependency of Angus Mail. And this one depends on these other uh, dependencies, which is the Jakarta Activation API the mail API and the default implementation of activation API that this is Angus activation. So, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's the, the dependency we have. The other uh, things you see here is just to uh, compile with uh, Java uh, 11, to use UTF-8 encoding, uh, and some plugins to compile, to generate a jar file with uh, an executable class 
and to put some dependencies in some folder, but it's not really required to understand this. Just the only important thing is that we have the Angus mail dependency. And the only class we have, this is everything, uh, is the class that is going to send an email and it's going to read the email. Okay, so this is the entry point. Uh, it's required to pass one argument. Uh, and this argument is going to be the, the text of the email. Uh, the other things are constants. It's the same value all the time because for a demo, it's fine. So the first thing we have is uh, um, we create some properties uh, for two protocols, for SMTP and for EMAP. Because as I said, the, we will send email with SMTP and we will read it with EMAP. And these magic uh, addresses uh, are related to my Docker. Because uh, once we start Docker, the Docker container, it will forward these IP addresses to the Docker port that is actually uh, where the mail server is running and it is listening uh, for SMTP and IMAP connections. We will execute it later, uh, the Docker image. Now let's focus in the code only. So we create a session that, as I said also before, uh, it contains the properties. And uh, we are going to send one email from this user of here to this user. So in this method, we create the message, the, the message we, we want to send. Uh, we are setting from. We are setting the recipient. Uh, we are setting uh, a standard message in the subject and the text that it's coming from the argument. And then we just invoke the, the transport.send. Uh, and how does it know where, uh, which protocol does it need to use? It's because we are passing a message. The message has the session and the session has the properties. OK, so uh, this will send it. And then we will wait one uh, second because there's there is some time where the email is sent and is not in the store yet and so we need to have a small delay to make sure that the the email is already in place and then for the read email uh, we are going to read the emails of this user it makes sense because it's the user that is receiving the email so the way we do it is uh, we create from session, we create a store for the EMAP protocol. Uh, we connect with the user and password. The password, user and password is already configured in the Docker container. So it is the password is one, two, three, four. Uh, then what we will do is to get the inbox folder. We will open it as a read only. We don't want to make modifications. We only need to, to read it. And we will iterate in that folder to see all the messages. OK, so I think now we are ready to uh, start uh, the demo. Sorry, not here. OK, well, here you are going to find all the steps. So what we need to do is to execute the setup. And this will uh, download the Docker image. It, it will do, uh, it will prepare the container and it will start it. The first time you execute it is going to be slow, but the second is going to be fast. So right now it is working. Uh, the Docker image is working. And now we have to run the demo. Uh, we have to compile it. And then we have to execute it. Uh, well, we can change the message if it doesn't matter. Hello, demo. So we are going to execute the, the demo. And here it is. Uh, I already have other messages because I was testing it in advance. But uh, in this example, we can see that uh, an email was sent from user this user to this one. 
and we are going through the mailbox reading all the emails that the user two has. So that's uh, pretty much the demo. We have seen how to add uh, Angus uh, mail and how to do two basic things, sending email and reading emails. And now we can, so I guess the last thing, uh, in case you have questions, uh, you can check, well, if you want to extend your knowledge, you can read the mail spec, uh, everything is written there. This is the project of the mail API, the project of Angus mail. So if you, in case you have questions in mail API or, or mail API or Angus mail, you can create an issue there and, and ask your questions. Or in case you have uh, some comments that you want to make directly to me, uh, you can uh, you can do it in this URL. You can open a, an issue here. You can create one issue and I will reply. So that's all from my side. Thank you all. I'm going to stop sharing. Yes, it, it is the end of the presentation. Thank you all. Nice to be here. Bye bye.